There's a number that has been constantly used or referenced throughout the game, each providing hints to different aspects of the law, and that number is 7. This number isn't simply just how many days there are in a reincarnation cycle. No, it's much more than that. How many opals does it cost to summon? 7. How many liberation points are there on the map? 7. What's the max artifact rank and weapon cost? 7. This number even appears on skins, almost as if they are trying to subconsciously reinforce its importance. In this video, we are going to be looking at the value of the number 7. Now you see, 7 isn't exactly a lucky number in China. No, that would be the number 8 due to its association with wealth and luck. But the number 7 is a lucky number in the West. Jackpots are often obtained on slot machines by getting three sevens in a row, resulting in huge money prizes. But there's also something else that the West has which isn't as common in China. You see, the seventh day of the week is Sunday, a holy day, where many often used to, and still do, go to church. And this leads me to Christianity, where God made the world in six days and rested on the seventh. Now you may be thinking to yourself, B, what does Christianity have to do with Forever 7 Days or Eternal City? And my reply to that is quite simple. This game is based off religion, history, mythology and folklore from various parts of the world. You can see that from the names of story chapters all the way down to the names of character weapons. For those of you who play and understand the Chinese version, you'll know that some of the larger plot points seem to be inspired from biblical sources. There are even casigos that directly quote verses from the Bible. Let's expand upon that point a little bit more. The newest group revealed in the story is called the Seventh Trumpet. This is a group that Luo Xiao defected from, and this is the group that created a being capable of annihilating wielders, a weapon of mass destruction called Qian Shi. The name of the research group is once again a biblical reference to the Seventh Trumpet, which when sounded would signal the world's end and the second coming of Christ. Those who believe will be saved, whereas those who don't will be sent to hell for eternity. Qian Shi is this signal. Her appearance is a threat to every wielder, and her mission is to eradicate them all. Wielders are humanity's hope. Without them, humanity cannot escape their ultimate fate of destruction on the seventh day. So what does all this mean? The number seven both represents creation and destruction, hope and despair, life and death. This is the value of the number 7.